One day, my cousin was looking for websites that I could use while I was at their house. Most had one or two things, but nothing that would keep me interested. As the time passed, I became bored and asked if I could have some sleep, and my cousin said yes. I went to sleep in the bedroom up the stairs. When I woke up, I heard my cousin say that she had found a nice website for me to use. I was very happy because my parents were on a work trip, and I had had nothing to do at my cousin's house. When I got onto her lap to see the screen, it seemed ever so friendly. The background of the website was filled with flowers, clouds, and other cute things, all with smiling faces. It had about 60 videos, starring a cartoon character named Lyle the Enjoyable Fuzz, a small blue ball of scribbles with a happy face in the very center. There were also about 20 games, each starring Lyle. As I played the games, my cousin noticed something strange, though. Every time one of the videos ended, a large, extremely realistic eye came up, just blinking and crying. It was unsettling, especially considering that I was five. On the homepage, there was an email address, with underneath it a small sentence that didn't make any sense. I will happy. My cousin contacted the address with this. Dear site owners, the child in my care has been on your website, and he has been very interested with this site. With all the games and videos, it's a very nice website for children. But there has been one thing that has caught my attention. See, there is this pair of eyes at the end of every video on your website. It's given the child in my care terrible nightmares. Uh, anyway, would you care to remove these small clips from your children's website? Thank you. We waited about eight minutes, and a reply popped up in my cousin's email. And it read, Dear Miss P, Do not mention the eyes. Never again. Your child's mental well-being isn't nearly as important as the eyes. Fear the death cake option never. The end of the email made no sense. Probably some kind of disgusting joke. Nevertheless, my cousin tried again, receiving the same sort of response. After about the tenth time, they answered with this. Never ask us to do that. That will end us. No one can end us. That made my cousin worry if I should still have been on that website. But she allowed me. Until the third week. That is. Uh, I watched one of the videos, and then when the eyes came, I clicked the pupil. And it sent me to another website, which contained eight videos on the first page. All of them contained the same thing. The same disturbing thing. It began with Lyle floating around, squealing with excitement. Then a poorly drawn body with a picture of someone's head on it. As my cousin later found out, these were the original owners of this website. Then they would have the same dialogue, and the person's voice sounded computer-generated. The person walks off, saying goodbye simultaneously with Lyle, until the screen turns black. After three minutes of darkness, a picture of the person's head with one of the eye sockets empty, the other completely destroyed. Blood covers the face, and lots of the person's hair is shaved off. This appeared for 10 seconds, then complete darkness, and then after another 8 seconds, Lyle's faded body in the darkness says the words, Good night. After that, my cousin contacted the police, 
but they never found out who this site belonged to. Until I realized something. The eye at the end of the video... See, it was always a different eye. And it was always an eye of one of the people's heads. Animated so that it would blink. And even though there were clear pictures of the people's heads, they were never identified. Over the years, the videos were deleted, but not all the games. And in one of the games, if you click on Lyle's eyes in the game called Cloudhopper, there is an animation of Lyle from the view of someone lying on the ground, seeing red liquid splatter on his face. He opens his mouth, revealing a very realistic, thin tongue. And with that, he licks off all the red liquid and says, I will happy.